Oliver and Duck work the branch line that runs along the coast of the island of Sodor. They are both very proud of being Great Western, particularly being part of the few GWR steam engines still in active service. Oliver was lucky and was rescued from scrap by Douglas, but he knows most engines on that railway weren't so lucky. One thing he had to get used to was the presence of diesels on the island. He quickly warmed up to kind diesels like Boko, Mavis, and Daisy, but still had a nervous grudge against others. Careful, Oliver. Don't get too close to the torch or you'll really get scrapped this time. <laughs> get lost, you bumblebees. You diesels are all despicable. Every single one of you. Uh, begging your pardon, Mr. Oliver, but uh, I don't think that's quite accurate. What about, uh, Boko? <sighs> yes, I know. I'm sorry. I just... Well, I guess some are nice. Don't let those bigots get to you. No one likes them. You should have seen the horrible prank they played on Stepney when he accidentally ventured there. Oh, I've heard all about that. Nasty devils. Ooh, ironically, they are just as old as we were when they started taking over the mainland. Yeah, some of them, like Boko's class, are already obsoleted. That evening, the Fat Controller had important news. There is going to be a Great Western reunion on the mainland and they would very much like to have some Shodor engines there. Would you two like to go? Oh yes, please! I would love that. Do you think Toad could come too? Yeah, I think it would be a great idea. They could use some Great Western rolling stock as well. Donald and Douglas will manage the branch line while you two are away. The Fat Controller also asked Percy, but he adamantly declined. Eh, uh, I don't associate with the Great Western anymore. That was a part of my life that I'm not too proud of. Sodor is my home. Not that stuck-up GWR. You wouldn't have been talking about my GWR, would you? Oh, oh, hello, Duck. I was just saying how, er, uh, the Great Western was, well, great. It is. And we've come to make sure you agree, or else. What? Ha <laughs> ha! We're just playing with you. We know you had a bad experience, so we'll go so you don't have to. A few weeks later, Oliver and Duck set off for the mainland. Have fun! Don't get lost and make me rescue you again! Both engines had a marvelous time being photographed and chatting with other Great Western engines. They all had stories about being preserved, but none were as daring as Oliver's. At the end of the day, Duck went home first, while Oliver decided to take an evening dinner train. As he arrived back at the station, the weather had started changing. The wind was howling. Good grief. I knew it was supposed to be rainy tonight, but this is like a hurricane. Mr. Doc was lucky to leave earlier. Don't worry. We'll manage. Oliver and his crew thanked everyone and then set off for home. That's when the rain started. Do you think we should wait somewhere until the storm passes? Let's try to get as far as possible. This rain can't last forever. But the rain was not the biggest issue. Suddenly, they saw a red signal and had to stop. Soon, a signalman came out of the box. There's been a massive landslide down the line, and nothing can get through until tomorrow at the earliest. Oh, drat. 
How far down is it? We're just headed to Sodor. Ooh, you're in luck then. There's another route that starts at the previous junction. So just reverse back there and change the points. It may be a bit of a detour, but it'll get you there. Thanks. Anything is better than being stuck here all night. Oliver reversed back to the previous junction and headed down the new route. The rain finally stopped, but the signalman was right. The route was quite a detour. Fortunately for them, this line went right through a place Oliver never wanted to visit again, the scrapyard. Even worse, Oliver was starting to run out of water. The driver made a decision. Uh, we need to stop here so we can ask where the nearest water tower is. Here? Can't we wait until we're out of this scrapyard? We're dangerously low. Better figure out while we've still got some left, rather than getting stuck on the line. That is how we were caught while escaping, wasn't it? Yes, but that was on the main line, not on the line's den itself. Go oh, look, it's a Sodor engine. What a scheming pile of shit. Raptor, Puffball, GWYRs. You disturbed my sleep! Oliver was parked in a siding next to a rusty goods train. And his driver and fireman went off. Oliver was terrified. Oh... I never thought I'd be in this position again. Yeah, at least this time we're just lost, not fugitives. Yeah, well, diesels don't tend to make that distinction. All they see is a steaming pile of scrap. I wouldn't see you that way. You're a historic treasure worth preserving. What? What? Who said that? Before he could answer, there was a loud bump as a diesel backed down onto the goods train. He snorted at the sight of Oliver and lumbered away. Revealing a shabby diesel shunter. He was the same model as Diesel, Airy, and Bert, but there was something different. He was missing the grimace of those three. Oh, hello. Oliver was stunned. He didn't know what to say. I'll tell you that this engine is not for scrapping, so don't you try any games. No, Toad, it's okay. Oh, don't worry. I can't move myself, let alone another engine. Must say, it's lovely to see a great western engine in original colours. I don't think I've ever seen one like that. Always in BR green. Yeah, your type was built after the creation of British Rail, so you wouldn't have. You're class 08, aren't you? Yes, most generic diesel ever. <laughs> An assembly line diesel, you could say. Almost a thousand were built. Oh yes, hordes of them would be swarming around the yards like Bert. Uh, I mean, uh, what is your name? Paxton, what's yours? Oliver. Oliver? Wait, are you the engine who escaped from scrap? Why... Yes. How did you know? Oh, you became somewhat of a legend among us diesels. They were all baffled at how you managed to sneak all the way across the country unnoticed. Well, I did have help. Another engine helped me after I ran out of coal on the last night. May I ask what you're doing in this siding? Uh, unfortunately, my time is up. I'm no longer useful. I've been stored for years, but they put me on this siding a few days ago. And I'll be collected any day now, and taken away. 
taken away to what? Well, uh, the torch. A sharp chill struck through Oliver like a lightning bolt. He felt like he was talking to his own younger self when he was in a siding many years ago. I'm... I'm so sorry. Ah, oh, well, it'll be quick. I've had good times. I wish it was longer, but, you know, I'm obsolete. Oliver didn't know what to say. It was then when his driver returned. Great news! There's a water tower just outside this yard. We'll be home soon. Oh, I'm so sorry, Oliver. I didn't realize that diesel was there. Well, you can now be... No, it's fine. He's quite friendly. We had a good chat. Indeed. Well, goodbye, Oliver. Nice having one last civil engine to talk to. Oliver wanted to say something. He knew he had to get home, but just had to do something for Paxton. G goodbye. I'll... I'll try to help you. Thank goodness you've returned safely. I should have stayed with you. Well, it wasn't so bad. At least this time, I didn't have a massive wanted sign on me. Do the diesels at the scrapyard give you any trouble? Eh, uh, not too much. Typical rude comments, but... Duck, I need to speak to the fat controller. Oh, didn't you know? He's away on business. You'll be back in a few days. Oh, shoot. Yes, I remember that now. They called him and told him you were safe. He knows, don't worry. Yes, but it's not me I'm concerned about. What? I need to talk to my driver. engine? Who's there? Uh, hello? Stop! Stop! Oh! Don't you look, you morons! Sorry, we were just clearing the siding. We have to move you. Move me? Oh, so this is it then. No, we're just moving you elsewhere. We have to free up this siding. Oh, so I'm being shunted. I get it. Wait. Have we met? Boy, I say, careful! May I ask where you're taking me? I'm taking you to freedom. Oliver, what are you doing? I'm just a grungy diesel. And I was once just a grungy steam engine in your exact position. I was lucky in that a Sodor engine gave me the gift of escape. And I am now passing that gift on to you. I'm taking you to the island of Sodor. You, you mean it? But, but would Sir Topham Hat want me? He will find a use for you. I'll explain later. We've got to get out of here before the diesels show up. We'll attach you to our train, and act like you're just giving me a lift. Now, come on! Everyone worked fast. Paxton was coupled behind Toad in the line of trucks. All right, we're all set. Onward! Before they could get out, they were stopped by a red signal. A diesel came lumbering by slowly. You again? What are you doing here? Sorry, I broke down and this diesel was giving me a push. <laughs> of course he broke down. 
stupid steamer. Don't bother pushing him. Just clearing the line. Pa! Uh, is that the rust bucket from the siding? I didn't know he could move. <laughs> that was close. Those diesels aren't the ones to mess around with. I'm not scared of them anymore. I wouldn't be scared if we ran into Splatter and Dodge again. What can they do? I'm a free engine, and so is Paxton. Oliver and Paxton soon made their way over the border onto the island of Sodor. Here, we'll decouple you and I'll take you to the works from here. I can't thank you enough. Can I just ask, why did you bother saving me after what the other diesels did to you? My dear Paxton, diesel just means different locomotion. Yes, there are ones that are horrible, but you know what? There are horrible steam engines too. If an engine is nasty, then it's an attitude problem, not a physical guaranteed trait. Even though you're the same class as the two diesels who caught me, I saw no other resemblance. You were a helpless, friendly engine in the same position I was. Oliver said goodbye to Paxton and returned to his branch line. He snuck into the shed as the others were sleeping. He decided to wait to tell the other engines about his adventures, but the next day he noticed many of them looked worried. Hello, what's with all the worried faces? Is something wrong? Oh yes, there is. The horrible Diesel is back. Horrible Diesel? The one that came before you did and told lies about everyone. I saw him in the works this morning. But he's never been to this island before. Are you... Oh. Are you talking about that Diesel that almost got Duck sent away? Yes. Duck's apparently very upset. I don't blame him. What color was this diesel you saw? It looked black to me. I'm almost certain that... Oh, you fools! That's not a black diesel. He's green, and he's not the one you're thinking of. I saved him from scrap last night. His name's Paxton. How many others have you told? Uh, pretty much everyone. Oh, bother. I better find Duck, I suppose. Wait, save from scrap? What do you mean? Oliver had already raced off. He found Duck later that day. Oh, Oliver, I've heard some terrible news. Yes, I know what. Oh, you've heard it too? Ghastly, isn't it? They're giving Diesel an overhaul too. Yes, but I won't stand for this. He came back twice and both times caused a scene. He's not. What makes the fat controller think he can trust that diesel again? He's just a rotten, oily clanker. He's not that specific diesel. How do you know? Because I rescued him from scrap last night, you loony. His name's Paxton. He's a kind fellow. And probably the furthest thing from your diesel you'll ever meet. R rescued? But... But why him? He's a shunter diesel. How can you trust him? I don't understand. I do. My situation was not too far off from his. That was a very brave and commendable thing you did, Oliver. I know full well that not every diesel is good like me. I've had experience of that myself when other diesels rejected my class because of failures. So I had prejudice from both sides. So has Derek. I once was a prejudiced diesel, 
but when I was cast aside, it gave me a true perspective on how awful it is. I'm awfully sorry, Boko. I, I didn't mean to offend you. You're a wonderful engine. Oh, I'm not hurt. I'm just telling you to be mindful of subconscious prejudices. We're on Sodor, and Sodor focuses on an engine's attitude, not their propulsion power. Huh, <sighs> who knows? Maybe Duck's Diesel will amend his ways one day too, like Boko. <laughs> yeah, now that will be the day when pigs fly. The Fat Controller returned the next day and went straight to Oliver. I'm glad you're home safe and sound after your journey. Or, should I say, journeys. Uh, sir? You seem to have this habit of visiting scrapyards throughout your life, don't you? Um, well, is this about Paxton? Yes, I got word that they all thought it was another diesel that had previously caused trouble on the island twice, and had been put in my works without permission. You don't understand how confused I was until I contacted the works and saw him for myself. I'm so sorry, sir. I should have... It's all right, Oliver. I met Paxton this morning, and he's a delightful engine. He'll do perfect for shunting and freight duties. So, you're going to restore him? Of course. In fact, he's in quite good condition. Just need some new paint and adjustments, and he'll be ready to go. Any engine in need of refuge can find a place on Shodor. That's my family's legacy. We can't save every engine, but we will try to save as many as we can. Oh, thank you, sir. I'm so delighted. Of course. But let's hope the next rescue has me informed first, by telephone or whatever, so I don't have to cover for a scrapyard burglary. <laughs> the fat controller winked and walked away. Paxton was fixed in no time. The engines instantly approved of him, and he does various jobs around the island. He does all sorts of things, from shunting to quarry deliveries. Even James, who was usually skeptical of Diesels at first in the past, immediately got on well with him. Oliver was already renowned for his escape from Scrap, but he is now considered even more a hero after becoming a rescuer himself. He is a Sodor engine after all, and as he learned from Douglas, Sodor is a sanctuary for anyone in need of help. <laughs>